of like guideline rule structure to the, the Jewish mysticism. Yeah, man, of course. That's where guidelines and laws come from is the Jewish mysticism. Like what? Like every other part of democracy in the world is some sort of offspring wow. of Jewish mysticism. I can hear and about that. It's just that I type of stuff has you. been blocked from society wow. and reincarnated as Why? a different Why even entity that like Canada. Where right. everybody thinks, oh, the government of Canada. So the roots of this democratic system that we live in is pretty much wow, no, no. the bare roots of the Torah. No, no. Can you, you, know you can you explain something like so you're obviously you know, it, it educated in these in these manners on yeah. these things. So I've always been confused because I'm not as educated on, on particular Judaism or anything like that. But the Torah is the Judaism, but a quote unquote Bible. Yeah. And what is the Kabbalah then? Is that that's Jewish mysticism? That's the secret tongue, the secret code that's hidden that lasts beyond any type of suppression. You know what I mean? So that's not the actual. So now Bible. I go back and read the Torah. There's a story to it that you know what harm could this story have society? It makes it makes all the genocide attempts to it. But really, then soon as a Jewish person picks it up, he sees the allegorical meaning to it and can pick up his lesson right where Moses left off. So you what know, Moses is like the Jesus figure in and yeah. he's the patriarch. He's the main guy. Abraham's another one. Right? Yeah. And Moses wrote the Torah. I didn't know that. So he got all the lessons from Kabbalah and handed right down to him. You know what I mean? So what about the, you know, they had the Ten Commandments and shit? That wasn't, that was, uh, that was Moses, right? Yeah. So, so what, he got the, the Torah too at that same time type yeah, of shit? Yeah, he got everything that had to do with spiritualism and metaphysics all at one moment right there. The, the, the Christians boil it down to ten. Right, but there, I heard there was a lot. There was more, yes. a lot more than ten. Yes, absolutely. I keep thinking there was one hundred and twenty. There's, there's, there's six hundred and thirteen. Conversation with God probably a complicated one. It's a very. I would assume. So you think you couldn't break it quickly down into just like yeah. the ten cliff notes? Yeah. This is the yeah. Reader's Digest version of my conversation well, with God. Well, I mean, God. it's all just watered down for consumers. Uh, you know, interest, you know what I mean? Because controlling that, interest. Yeah, it's like you know what I mean. I get you on this hocus pocus, as wild, as boiled down. This boiled down version of events that I got here and the dogma without the actual spirituality exactly so feed, feed them the dogma so they can be oh controlled. and it's been commercialized for the last 750 years if not more religion you know you can go right back into the dark ages that that stuff's been completely manipulated to fit every tyrant's right. need from that's fine you know the invasion of there Jerusalem in the year call. 70 any person who's partaking in any kind of barbaric invasions like that for those causes back then, what kind of democracy or what kind of liberalism do you think they had in their country? Right. None. You were dying. Complain about the food, you're dead. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's how it was. It was dark ages. Wow. Now, there's a good question. Well, I had With the fucking Torah and shit, where's the, like, do women have an obedient role in that? Like, are they supposed to fucking... Is there a role for the player? If you if you're studying the Torah or any type of Jewish mysticism, it's gonna bring the better person out of you. Even if you study Jesus or any other religious figure, it's always gonna bring the softer, more gentler side to you. And that's the power it has. And the more you devil into it, the more you exhaust your mind on thinking exactly what this means and you keep comprehending it to the realities of your own circumstances. Yeah. And that's when you get growth and that's where you're gonna lead but it's hard to generate the kind of vibe where you know these these guys are grouping up ten at a time you know reading for years and years and years before they break into conversation or let alone action on how they want to live the way they just been studying right you know and some people go in and they don't even know what the reason they're doing it well then my other question would be that's Judaism, okay, so Judaism, Judaism, right? This is the whole birth of all the stuff, right? Yeah. So with, with with that, why don't they recognize Jesus as their king and savior? Then Jews refer to him as JC. I noticed, but they don't res they don't seem to give God him the no, title. He's the of biggest respect. heretic that's ever been. That's like Christians do. I'm just wondering why and he's Jewish. Well, we, well, it's hard to convince ultra orthodox rabbis that you had a reason to turn water into wine. That didn't go for the purpose of proclaiming God's power. 
Why'd you do that? 